you know, I think we did. Uh, I feel good that we, we got some things. We had not had some things in our package uh, that we needed for the first two games that we will need going into the rest of the season. So we're able to go back and, and fit those uh, uh, schemes in. So they'll be, we'll pull those out against the particular teams that are needed for. But where I also liked last week was we went back, and I don't want to say picked up, but we went back and, and brought some players that weren't quite ready for the first two games because they, we had to get ready and they weren't quite in the two deep at that time. I wanted to go back and get them back involved and, and spend some time on them to see if they could get back to the first or second team. So we spent a lot of time with them, getting them back up to speed with uh, uh, you know, practice and uh, we'll see where they fit in this week and as we move forward. But we're going to need them as we go through the season. It's just we didn't have the time to get them ready for the first two, so we spent some time with them. Is Mac O'Brien and Sam <coughs> Rohr ready to go this Saturday or not? No, Sam Rohr, is, Sam Rohr is still, he needs to get stronger in the elbow. Uh, hopefully he'll be back. Right now it looks like he'll be back the following week. I don't think he'll be back this week. And Mac O'Brien is probably... I'm guessing he's done for the season. I don't think he'll be back for this season. Uh, it's not healing, in the in the, it's not healing at the pace that it needs to right now. And being the foot, that's a tough deal. So, uh, at this point, it doesn't look like he'll be able to make it back, without the, you know, the problems with it. So, uh, uh, we're looking towards long term now. And you know, unless something changes, I don't foresee that happening right now. Well, I think it's, it's it's great for FCS football, is is the primary thing because, you know, they're going to be up there talking about the games that uh, the, the the FCS has beaten the FBS, so they'll be talking about those types of things. So I think it draws attention to the FCS and the level of FCS, uh, and and that, I think that's the biggest thing about it is that it will get the uh, that level of play. We'll we'll get we'll get the spotlight. But along with North Dakota State, you'll get all the all the other games, you know. That and fortunately, we're one of those teams that won a one A game. So, I'm sure those things will come up in the process of the talking, and uh, you know, anything like that is good for FCS football. Is that important now when you hear things like the Big Ten saying don't schedule FCS, and then you know other other schools may shy away now that they're seeing that FCS teams are, are winning these games? I think, I think that ESPN doing what they're doing, you know. It, it puts an emphasis on FCS football, and it might take some pressure off a, a person making a decision at the FBS level, FBS level whether they play us or not, that they have highlighted us as a, as, as a quality division, uh, particularly the upper le level of this division. So, you know, hopefully it does, but, you know, it's still going to come down to the people making the decisions and, you know, what happens year to year. But TV has a big say in what goes on in football right now, so anytime you can be in that spotlight, uh, it's going to help your division.